This one's an adult conversation. Time to hide your kids. Cammy, this one's not for Phoenix and Pharaoh. I love you though, babies. The next one is. What's happening, Journey is? Today is quarantine confessions. Where I'm gonna be telling you about the good, the bad, and the ugly, all personal stories that I've never shared on camera that have happened in my life. True stories. I'm gonna tell you about the first time I ever encountered a prostitute. And of all places, it was in California. <laughs> so this is four years ago now. I had recently moved to California. I was working at an awesome agency. They flew me over there. They put me in corporate housing. I was super stoked, super excited. So I wasn't scheduled to start work until Monday. I got there on a Thursday. And I thought to myself, yo, I'm ready to turn up. I'm gonna get to know San Francisco. We're dancing, we're going to the club. I went to this club. It was called Infusion Lounge. True story. I get down there, I go down the stairs, everything's red, it's like kind of sleek and swanky, kind of sexy. I was like, yo, oh, this is my speed. I have my blazer on, my nice crop shirt, my fitted jeans, my loafers, I'm fresh. I go down there, I'm scoping everything out. You know, I'm a nice young single cat, had my curly hair back then. A lot of beautiful women dancing and dancing and I'm dancing with people, I'm moving around. I'm dancing on the floor by myself, I'm having a great time. I turn to my left and I see someone in a white dress. And I think to myself, yo, if she turns around and she's cute, it's a wrap. Because everything is look, and she's fit, fit, okay? Single young me. She turns around and I spot her face. I say, yo, looking like an angel. I need, I said, so she was in VIP. Well, like, how do I get in VIP? And he says, yo, you gotta buy bottles. It's 250, I look at it, I'm like, that's not happening. That's never happening. I'm not paying 250 to walk into a spot. No. So I'll wait and hopefully she walks to the bar or somewhere else to go dance and I'll approach. I go back to the dance floor and sure enough, a few minutes later, I'll catch her in the corner of my eye, this white dress. The only person in the club wearing a white dress or at least the only one I'm noticing. Walks into the bar, it's like, boom. Dread right over, made my move. Kicked off the conversation. The conversation was lovely. Chopping it up, she's charming. She asked me to buy her a drink. I was like, mm, I don't drink. That's what I said, straight up. She practically doesn't even notice the fact that I just declined buying her a drink. Not about that right now. I kid you not, 30 minutes later, we're talking. Yo, she's super dope. I said, yo, you're so cool, I'm gonna buy you a drink. Let's go, pull out the car, swoop, swoop, gold style, swipe. Purchase a drink, I'll get myself a water. She's getting a little frisky, I'm like, oh, well, don't mind if you do. We're dancing, we're having a good time. Things are escalating. I was like, okay. Her friend comes over and she introduces me to her friend. I'm like, oh, this is super dope. All right, introducing me to your friends. And her friend, as soon as she comes over, I, I reach out to shake her hand. She turns around and she starts whining on me. I was like, no, 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 please don't. Please don't, back up. No, 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 I'm trying to talk to her. Leave me alone, please don't do this. Please don't mess this up with <laughs> me. I just had this long ass great conversation. I'm not trying to do this with you. So her friend pulls her to me. She starts dancing with me. Her other, the, the woman that I'm trying to talk to starts dancing with me. I'm like, what is this? She looks like, a, looks like an all right situation. She's not sweating it at all. She's encouraged. We were dancing for like an hour. I'm, I'm dancing between them, moving and everything. We're all having a good time. And the lights start going down. It's time to exit and from the way that things are going, it's like, ah. Uh. So the friend of the woman in the white dress leans over to me and said, hey, you, do you want to come home with us? And I'm like, <laughs> California, I love you. I made the right choice. Woo, I'm never going back to New York. What? This is my first night here? This is insane. This is, this is the dream. So. I'm looking at them, I'm like, hell yeah. Yeah, this is, the, yeah, I'm down. Let's go, you know? I was, play, I was cool. She leans back into my ear, she says, it's gonna cost you. I'm like, Uber? No problem, say no more. Pull out the phone, I'm getting ready to call it. Like, where we need to go? And she, she leans back in, and she says, 200 each. And I was like, 200 each? Uber doesn't cost that kind of money. I literally sat there for a good five seconds. I'm gonna show you what this looks like. And go. 
I sat there thinking just like that from being able to interact. And I was like, oh, you're a prostitute in my mind. The only way I've ever imagined prostitutes was like in the alleyway, you know, that you see in the movies. That was my only experience where they would walk up like, hey, you want a good time and stuff like that. And never in a club, never a woman wearing a dress, you know what I mean? She's not showing anything. It was just, it was a form-fitting dress, but that was it. You know what, I'm not even gonna lie to you. The first thought that came to mind was like, yo, I got $400 in the bank, no problem. And then in a split second, when that thought came on my mind, immediately another one came over. It's like, I would have to live with that decision for the rest of my life, and that's not the kind of person I wanna be. So I was like, fuck, oh, man, why does this, I was in the club for two, two and a half hours with you. Couldn't have told me this when I walked up to you. Damn. That was tight. I went in and I shook that woman's hand. Looked at her friend. I shook her hand. I said, ladies, thank you for the dance. Have a good night. And I walked out of that club and I didn't look back. And then from there, as I'm waiting for my lift to pick me up and take me back to my place, while waiting for the lift, I literally, I kid you not, I had about six or seven prostitutes walk up to me. Hey, you want this and that? And I'm talking like the kind of prostitute, these, these women were like rough. I'm talking, I was actually afraid. You know what I mean? I felt like these are the kind of women that would pull out a switchblade and cut you. No problem. So I was like, no, thanks so much. You're, you're beautiful. Thank you so much. You're beautiful. But no, no, I appreciate it. And you're like, you sure? And like, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm very sure. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. You know, I was tight, I was good. I lived in California for four years after that moment. I have never gone back to Infusion Lounge. I have never gone back once. And since then, I have never came across a prostitute that I know of in my entire California experience after that. Oh, that's not wrong, that's not true. Ah, confessions. Quarantine confessions. True stories. I'll have a whole lot more. I'll see you. Come on.